review. What's going on, Yidin? Oh my gosh. Welcome back Sunday to the interview. Morning. Early Sunday morning. Oh my God, ready? We got back <sighs> last night from dancing with uh, Mishy Chesim <laughs> at uh, 4 30 a.m. We did a Kiddush Levana because it's, it's a new month. The bars? In Times Square. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And today we have herring that was made by our excellent host, Rivki Karlarski. Also, shout out to Mandy Karlarski. Had his 40th birthday last year and made these awesome kippas. These are the most elite kippas in the Chabad world. And yesterday I had the schus of receiving one. Wow, I think they're designing the 50th birthday already. Good, because I need one of those too. <laughs> let's see, let's, uh, let's crack this. This was over. actually made here. Crown Heights authentic herring. Wow. Oh, looks like it's Lox herring. Ooh, a little surprise over there. Let's hold it up to the camera. Rabbi Lux. Mm. Your favorite rabbi. Okay. And then, uh, nothing like herring first thing in the morning. Yeah. You got, uh, Fancy's Kickle. So I'll, uh, I'll actually, yeah. Uh, we're gonna make a Mizonos here. Yeah, actually sure you do it. Okay. I'll just be commentary. You're not gonna eat one, Rabbi? I'll go to the oil and I don't want to eat before I go to the oil. Rabbi's going to the oil, doesn't like to eat. Why? How come? The custom. You're just from like that. I don't want to smell like herring. Yet. I do. That's how I'm gonna meet my Bashera. <laughs> Smelling like herring. Okay, we got some locks. Some more locks on there. What kind of rubber do you make this? You're gonna make it Mazonos. Yeah, the Pral covers the whole thing. Mm hmm. Aruka Taranaya, Lahina Malakalam, Bray, Mia Mazonos. I'm made. Mm. Facial expression. Oh. Mm. You look like you had a really restful. Ripki, this is awesome. The combination. Of the jalapenos and the onion. It's so fresh. Thank you. I'm so happy too. We didn't know if this review was going to happen, but I made sure to wake up early and get this review right. before the Oho. Having another one. Can we review your speech in front of a thousand students yesterday? Sure. What do you rate it? What were your, what were your feelings? Like, I'm kind of, I don't really have a, much of a voice right now, so most people couldn't hear my speech. Right. We'll do but the people who got the air. want to recap? Yeah, you know, pretty much we're at Pagisha right now in Crown Heights. And I told all the students that, you know, I empathize with you. I'm a student. Sometimes it's hard to be a student and be a Yid. But everyone who came here to Pagisha 2022, we're all making the right choices and the Rebbe would be proud. Rebbe also, is proud. Rebbe is proud. Rebbe is proud. Also, I went to a Kiddush Saturday morning at yeah. Harav Hagon Moshe Karlarski. Rav Moshe Karlarski. And an old Yid told me that I'm a bigger Lubavitcher than half the Yidden in this town. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I'm gonna pack it up. Wow. How would you make it? What kind of uh maybe Rifki would give us some behind the scenes? It's a 9.6 out of 10. Rifki, 9.6 out of 10. What? 9.6 out of 10. Nope, 9.6. Rifki's right there with her new baby named Meme, and he's one and a half years old. Same initials as Mandy Karlarski, so it's at an MK40, MK1.5. And Moshe Karlarski. And Moshe Karlarski, the gong. Shlita. Yeah, 9.6. Okay. And, uh, and now we wrap it up and go to the Oho. Yeah. You got a wrap till Already you wrapped. The rest of the boys? Already you wrapped. wrapped. Already wrapped. See, little burns over there. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you always like, when you go to a Chabad event, you have to make sure you wrap before, or else you're gonna well, heckle. What would you say is the connection between herring and mikvah? Men's mikvah. Mm. Some correlation there. Well, when I, feel, when I go to mikvah, I feel renewed, right, when I get out. Me and my rabbi had the privilege of being in the mikvah together oh, so on simple. Friday morning. Yeah, we gotta edit that part. It was an awesome experience. Um, and after getting out of the mikvah, I felt like a new man. And every time I eat herring, I feel like I grow a little bit. And every time you grow, you're a different person than the person you were before that growth happened. So that's the connection between mikvah and herring. Go get your herring. Go get your herring.